So you might be running into an issue where for some reason name drop is not working on your iPhones. So what name drop is, is basically the ability of going through and transferring your contacts from one iPhone to the other, but basically via airdrop and the airplay method, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, as you can see, it doesn't work every single time. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you is if you're trying to use name drop right now, it's still in the beta and it's going to be a work in progress. So keep that in mind. Not everything is fully functional right now. And some of these things take time for them to fix on their end. So keep that in mind. If you're running this and trying to do this like before it's officially out, it's still in a beta and it's going to come on very soon. Now, the other thing, make sure you're on iOS 17 beta 2 or above. This is a feature that only works on iOS 17 beta 2 or above. And if you're trying to do this before beta 2, it's not really going to work. So make sure that your build number on your version of iOS matches this one or is higher. So as you can see, wherever the build number is, if I click on iOS version, whatever this build number is, make sure it's higher than that or different than that, but make sure it's not the first one, because if it's beta one, then it's not going to work. Now, another thing you can try doing is trying to restart both devices. So try going through and restarting both of your iPhones, because if you restart it, that is probably the highest likelihood of fixing this problem. So go ahead and take a look at your specific iPhone. And what you're going to want to do is simply just go ahead and, you know, once these iPhones are fully off, power them back on, and that's probably going to end up fixing the problem. You, again, have to make sure you're on iOS 17 or above to do this, and specifically in particular beta 2. If you're trying to do this on iOS 16, I don't think it's going to work at all. So make sure you keep that in mind in the back of your head. Once these iPhones are fully restarted, you may be able to see that once you go and hop out of both of them, they may actually, you know, that feature may actually end up working. So as you can see, I've restarted both these iPhones. And if I go ahead and kind of bring these iPhones again close to each other, we can go and kind of see if this feature is going to work. And we can kind of see that neither of these features seem to be working. And you can see they are not working. So that is basically how it's done. Apparently, I think it requires you to possibly actually have to go through and touch the display. So you may just want to have to try and do that. So as you can see, you may get that little panel. But again, if you bring these iPhones close to each other, if you tap on the display, just like so, you may see that the feature may end up working if I go and try it again. Let's see if it works. And you can see it doesn't, but it did work that first time. So I guess it's just a work in progress. So the best thing you could probably do is just keep your iPhone updated and it'll probably end up fixing itself. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.